maintain the vote, is that correct? Um, and someone from the union is going to tell you what to do with your remote. Actually, I'm still only going to put a one or a one. 
just one one or across X microphone candidate because you still can in AV. And actually, that will not contribute to um, getting over 80% of the support. Negative campaigning, more negative campaigning in AV. Uh, look at where I am in uh, Islington South. Uh, my MP, she cannot get elected under AV because there are too many people who will go anyone but Emily. They will say anyone but Emily Thornbury because any Conservative is going to vote for a Liberal Democrat before they vote for the Labour person. That's a fact. So she can't get elected because of negative campaigning. Um, uh, I was there in the autumn as well. Uh, three big marches in central London. Um, I don't support what the coalition government is doing. Uh, I think actually that lots of people in marginal seats voted for the Dems, but they didn't want them to do this. Um, and I think it will just be more of the same under AB, more broken promises. And I think you'll hear me say this only once, that phrase they trotted out now uh, over and over again during the debates. I agree with Nick, and I agree with Nick, that this is a miserable little compromise. Thank you. candidates selected uh, in the last general election, uh, we've under 30% of the vote. So no real sense if they are actually supported. What First Past the Post, as it is now, encourages you to do if you want to influence the result rather than to register which party you support, is you have to guess how everybody else is voting. So you look at what happened last time, you look at what the media says, and you say, well actually, I support the Green Party, but I don't think they've got any chance here, so I'm going to vote for one of the parties that I think might come in the first two. And that happened in this constituency, because the Green Party went from 7,000 voters in the local elections to 2,000 votes in the general election. And people on the doorstep were saying, uh, I don't want to waste my vote. We should not have a democratic system where people feel that voting for who they want is a wasted vote. Everybody should be allowed to express through the democratic system who they actually support without feeling that they're losing an ability to influence the result. And that's all that this, this system is trying to create. I also think what it does is it encourages people to look at the other candidates and to decide, you know, beyond the party labels, there's a, too much overlap between the parties and members, which ones do I actually agree with their policies? It may actually, in doing that research, get them to vote differently to they originally intended, because they'll be looking at the candidates and not just um, at the parties. Um, and for me, I think one of the, one of the strongest arguments um, is looking at the difference um, that, the, that the system can make. If they had, I mean, if you look at the um, election where George Bush was first elected in the United States, under a type of first past the post, lots of Democrats said, it's Ralph Nader's fault that you got George W. Bush, because the few percent he got meant in key states that the Republicans, George Bush, beat, um, whatever his name was, um, Al Gore, Al Gore who, who, came, who came second. They, and, the, and the Democrats were 
we're blaming Ralph Nader. If they'd had alternative vote, people could have transferred from Ralph Nader to Al Gore, and we wouldn't have had George Bush. And there are an awful lot of other things that we, that we wouldn't have had uh, as well. The other argument that, the, first, that the, the Yes campaign argued for is more stable government. Well, what we can see in the, in the Middle East and in North Africa at the moment is people would rather have democracy than stability. And, and there's no government more stable than a dictatorship. And there's no electoral system cheaper than a dictatorship. And it will cost more. I, th I think the yes campaign, it will cost not a huge amount. It'll take a longer in some seats to count it than that. So you'll have to pay people more to do it. It will cost a bit more. But for me, the value of having a fairer system is worth it. It's worth a few million quid across the whole of the country, so a few thousand in each constituency, to get a result which allows people to express their real views. And we might find that the orders change. When people can vote their own way, they might find actually that their party that they thought would have no chance actually can win. Um, and I think that that, that brings this, the system alive. So I say, vote for the alternative vote to improve the current system, not, not to ditch it. It keeps the best parts of it, the constituency link. It allows a more intelligent vote because people will, I think, look more closely at the policies, not only of their party, but of the other parties, and look not only at the parties, but look at the qualities uh, of the candidates. And it, most of all, it allows people a positive vote that they can vote for who they really want to vote for without feeling that their vote is wasted.